Hello, Charlie here and welcome back to Xbox On. This is our complete guide to playing games on Xbox One using a mouse and keyboard. We'll take you from how it all works to 10 of the best games that you can switch out your controller for, if that's what you're into. So first things first, how about Benny and I help you set yourself up? So how does it work? Well, the answer is actually very, very simple. Pick up pretty much any USB mouse or keyboard, plug it into the USB port on your console, and that's about it. <laughs> it's as easy as that. A couple of extra handy tips before we get into the games though. The Windows key basically becomes your new Xbox button, and if you want to tweak mouse controls, you can adjust pointer speed in the devices and streaming settings menu, and even switch left and right mouse buttons if that's your thing. But once you've done all that, what can you actually play? Let's start with a bit of great news for everyone playing one of the hottest games of 2020. Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone both fully support keyboard and mouse on Xbox One. So whether you're sniping enemies in the Modern Warfare campaign or dropping into Warzone for a spot of Battle Royale, you can pick between your controller and those classic WASD controls that'll be second nature to any PC shooter veterans. Whichever one of Modern Warfare's multiplayer modes you're diving into, from a 2v2 gunfight to a 100-player ground war, you'll be match made with other keyboard and mouse players. And this is also the first Call of Duty that features crossplay, meaning you can play with players on PC or another console. And if you want to play with friends on controllers and keyboard, you can also just go ahead and do that without any problem. Next, rev up your chainsaw and get ready to perfect active loading with the R key because Gears 5 is another Xbox game you can play with mouse and keyboard. This is an Xbox Play Anywhere title, meaning that buying it on Windows 10 gets you the console version and vice versa. And you can jump between the two versions without losing any of that sweet, sweet progress. So if you're used to playing on PC and you want to move to the living room, but to keep the control scheme you're used to, this is your chance. And if you do, you'll even still be able to play with your usual co-op buddies or versus squad because it's cross-play between PC and console for all four game modes. Gears 5 comes complete with Razer Chroma integration, so if you've got a Razer keyboard or mouse, you'll be treated to immersive lighting effects that change dynamically based on what you're up to. And for the full experience, you can even pick up the official Gears 5 line of peripherals from Razer. With a Huntsman keyboard, Mamba wireless mouse and more all rocking a Frosty Kate inspired look. And they're packaged with Razer themed cosmetics for use in game itself, just to complete the loop. Next, a game that needs no introduction. The Sims 4, the world's greatest dollhouse slash interior decoration slash wish fulfillment life simulation game. Of course, this series first started out life on PC, and if you grew up playing a Sims game on the family computer, then you'll be right at home with keyboard and mouse controls on Xbox. They work pretty much exactly the same as on PC, with loads of keyboard shortcuts that'll make it a snap to do everything from hopping floors to speeding up time. But whatever peripheral you choose to play with, and whether you're more interested in building your dream home or just making Sims kiss, this is the same game underneath and it's the best version of The Sims there's ever been. Next up, another no introduction necessary game that started life on the PC, it's Minecraft. Thanks to Bedrock Edition, it doesn't matter what platform you're playing on. Basically, if you can do it on PC, you can do it on console or even on mobile. So playing with a keyboard on Xbox One makes it a breeze to bring up the chat window and type in commands that will let you do anything from spawning mobs to changing the weather. But even if you're just hoping to do some standard, you know, mining and crafting, <laughs> then mouse and keyboard is a great way of doing that too. There's so much customizability, and yes, that's definitely a word available on an Xbox wireless controller that it's easy to forget just how versatile a mouse and keyboard can be too which is lucky when you've got a title like Space Engineers, because it's a sandbox game that balances construction, exploration, engineering, shooting, and survival, all set in a realistically simulated galaxy. The possibilities are pretty much endless with Space Engineers. You can pilot ready-made starships or design them from scratch, or you can head to the surface of enormous planets and build custom bases. You can mess around with gravity or reshape asteroids or turn ice into oxygen or just call some friends for a shootout. 
So yeah, having a keyboard full of buttons and shortcuts can come in handy. The menus in Space Engineers are full of subsections and tabs to navigate, so being able to use a cursor to precisely pick and choose what you need is a huge help. Not to mention having the entire QWERTY catalog of keybinds is the perfect way to command a ship. There are a lot of shortcuts to your weaponry and subsystems that are now just a keystroke away. Plus, it almost makes you feel like you're in front of a battleship's command desk. Mega immersive. One of the stars of mouse and keyboard support on Xbox is British game studio Rebellion. You can pretty much play all their games this way, from Sniper Elite V2 Remastered to Strange Brigade. But right now, let's focus on their latest and greatest, Zombie Army 4 Dead War. This alt-universe World War II shooter is all about returning Nazi zombies to their graves with a variety of weapons, from Tommy guns to mystical grenades, and of course, sniper rifles. With mouse and keyboard plugged in, you can rebind keys to suit the exact reach of your fingers and adjust mouse sensitivity to your heart's content, fine-tuning your sniper scope aim so you can line up that perfect zombie headshot. Boom! Another studio who are great when it comes to keyboard and mouse play are High Res. The developer behind free-to-play competitive titles like Smite and another game we'll get to in a minute. Smite is a MOBA, a sort of action strategy hybrid multiplayer game where two teams of heroes battle over objectives. And in this case, those heroes are pulled straight from Greek, Roman and Egyptian mythology and a load of other pantheons. So you can team up King Arthur with Thor We'll see how Hercules fares in a fight with Anubis. Smite got keyboard and mouse support on Xbox One as part of its Season 6 update last December. And because the game is cross-play, if you do decide to ditch the pad, you'll be matchmade with other mouse and keyboard users, regardless of whether they're playing on console or PC. And don't worry, we haven't forgotten about the other high-res game that we mentioned. It's Paladins, a free-to-download hero shooter that added keyboard and mouse support when it first went cross-play last January. Picking your input device works pretty much the same here as in Smite. You'll be matched with players using the same peripheral. One important thing to remember though is that you won't be able to switch mid-match. You need to pick your weapon of choice beforehand and stick with it. If you fancy taking your keyboard and mouse out on the open water, then you can't get any better than Sea of Thieves. Whether you're hunting for buried treasure or firing cannons in a nautical battle, everything you need for pirate adventures can be found right there on the keyboard. Hit tab to quickly bring up your current voyages and use the hotkeys to jump straight to your favorite items. And when the time comes to chat with your fellow salty sea dogs, you've got the choice of text chat or push to talk. Let's close out the top 10 with a battle royale banger. None other than Fortnite. Maybe you prefer building on a controller or maybe mouse aiming is what you need to get the upper hand in gun battles. The important thing here is having the choice. And if you don't know which you prefer yet, well, this is your chance to find out. You'll have the ability to customize every keybind to work perfectly for you. Plus those quick edit and resets found on any key that you like. And then there's mouse sensitivity, which can be adjusted via the Xbox One settings we mentioned at the start. But don't worry, you can still play with any of your friends on Xbox Live in mixed input lobbies. So those dubs are still gonna happen regardless of what you're using to play. And that's just the start of the Xbox games you can play with a mouse and keyboard. With free to download banger Warframe and strategy games like They Are Billions and Surviving Mars, which have traditionally been the reserve of PC gamers. And the list is getting bigger all the time. If you want to keep on top of the latest Xbox games with these features, make sure you subscribe to the channel or check us out live on mixer.com forward slash Xbox on every weekday from 2.30 p.m. UK time. If this video has got you excited to try playing Xbox games with a mouse and keyboard, but don't have the kit, we've got a few recommendations for you. If you want the very finest console keyboardery, the best place to start has got to be the Razer Turret. This is a wireless keyboard and mouse combo specifically designed for playing on Xbox One, with a streamlined keyboard design and built-in mouse mat so you can comfortably sit the whole thing on your lap and play from the sofa. Heck yeah. And if you've already got a mouse and keyboard ready to go, but fancy treating yourself to something anyway, the perfect final addition might be the Razer Goliathus Chroma. This is a soft mouse mat designed for gaming. 
The coolest thing though is the light up edges which can display 16.8 million colors and it's compatible with the Razer Chroma functionality we mentioned earlier. So it'll really shine a new light on those Gears 5 sessions. So that's everything that you need to know about playing on Xbox One with a mouse and keyboard. If you've got any other questions, throw them down in the comments below and give us your recommendations for games we might have missed. Hit that like button. We'll see you next time.